I have never, ever, ever been so independent before. Bologna is a really nice city. It's been a week since I arrived here and I feel super lucky and grateful to be able to spend my exchange period here. The city gives me a relaxing, slow-paced, peaceful feeling. I feel like I'm really laid back here. But my flight to here, my flight, now that was not a laid back journey at all. Okay, I don't want to expose my stupidity too much, but still, I'm here sharing the story of me almost missing my flight so that I will never make the same mistake again. This girl had problem distinguishing 12 a.m. and p.m. on her ticket. But thanks to her sister, who is definitely a smart cookie, found out the plane is actually departing in 5 freaking hours, she was able to catch her flight on time. She cried from her way to the airport all over to the security checkpoint because she is not mentally ready for leaving at this point. But it's okay because now she is ready to enjoy her airplane food. It's kinda dry, and the potatoes are interestingly seasoned. I don't know what seasoning is that, but it tastes exotic. This chocolate mousse heals me. It's a 10 out of 10. We got beef porridge here. I'm so happy to have it since I don't think I'll be eating this for the next couple months. It's kind of salty and can use some Korean sesame oil, but I'm still satisfied. The fruit and mango yogurt is okay. Then we arrived in Hamad Airport. I feel a little bit hot and humid as I get down the plane, but the airport itself is just so pretty. And they are selling the 2022 World Cup thing everywhere. It's so cute. is so creamy, so good, and the chicken curry is also nice. This white chocolate mousse is even better than the previous mousse. 11 out of 10. And this is the worst mango juice ever. I took the Melpensa Express to the Milan Central Station, then a uh, train Italia.
Sofia to the Bologna Central Station. Finally, after nearly 24 hours of traveling, I arrived in Bologna with three of my big ass baggages all alone. I'm on my way to my first class in Unico. Yay! <laughs> It'll soon be the graduation season, so that's why they're singing this Umbapa song. In between classes, I usually wander around the university area, go to nearby grocery stores to get some snacks, get a bit of work done such as printing out student ID card and get an Italian number. When I don't have classes, I hang out with my new friends. This is so cute. <laughs> you, you, you really don't have to learn this, you know. I <laughs> Korean, Chinese, but never Taiwan. Three things I noticed in Bologna. First, the pedestrians always cross on a red light. I mean, Taiwanese also do it, but Italians, they're on the next level. They are jaywalk masters. No offense. Second, there are doodles everywhere all over the city. The way these modern doodles blend in the historic architectures, I find it really artistic and romantic. 
thanks to these two dolls, walking around the city becomes much more fun. Third, the city is full of energy. People are smiley, chatty, and so friendly here. Even though I can't speak Italian and some of them can speak English, I still met a lot of good people on my journey, offering me help and I'm so, 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 so grateful for it. I feel like this video is really getting too long, so I'll end it here. Bye!